In this video, we'll begin the process of creating an article in LaTeX. If you remember from the last video, we got Technic Center set up and we even started a tech document. Remember, we started with the document class command at the very top. We had a couple of instances of the use package command right under that in the section called our preamble. And then when we were ready to start typing, we put the begin document command in typed our text and inserted the end document command at the very end. We're going to build on this to create an article. First thing that our article might need is a title. There's a command called title. If you type backslash and then the word title. You do this in the preamble and inside curly braces Type the title of the document. There's also a similar command called author. And you can also put the date on your document. Now you can type a particular date in text into this space or if you want this to update every time you use the document and compile it you can type backslash today inside the curly braces and that will update with today's date based on your computer's uh, date every time that you compile it. Now the next thing we need to do to actually insert this information into the document is to type backslash make title underneath begin document. So notice we put the information in the preamble right here. We put the title, author, and date command in the preamble. But we actually make that information appear in the document with backslash make title after begin document. So I'm going to go ahead and click compile so we can see what that looks like. And so notice here's the title of our document, name goes here, and the date is printed here. We can also create an abstract for the document with the abstract environment. The way we use this is to type begin abstract and then end abstract. And then any text we put in between these two commands will go into the abstract of the document. Notice that I'm putting the abstract environment after begin document. And the result is a section called abstract gets put right here under the title. Now let's say you wanted the title page to be its own separate page and you wanted the text of the document to start on the next page. Easy way to do that is to simply type backslash new page wherever you want to place a new page. So now in this case Title, name, and abstract are all on the first page. Text of the document starts on page two. Also, notice that the margins seem to be pretty big in the document as it's currently set up. If you want to change the margins, an easy way to do that is to go up to your preamble, type use package geometry, and then there's an optional argument called margin that will allow you to set the length of the margin. So in this case, if I just type margin equals one IN, that stands for one inch, that will place one inch margins all around. You can also set individual margins differently. So I could say top equals one inch, comma, bottom equals two inch, 
left equals one inch, right equals three inch. That allows you to change each margin individually. But if you just want to have the same margin set for all four, you can simply type margin equals and then the number you want. Another set of commands that you'll use a lot in creating an article is the section and subsection commands. To create a new section, type backslash section and then the name of that section in the curly braces. And then you can start typing like usual. You can also create subsections with the backslash subsection command and sub subsections you can see the result is right here by default sections and subsections get numbered and you can change this numbering. You can also omit this numbering in a very easy way. If you type backslash section and then the asterisk, that will suppress the numbering on the sections. So here we have the same sections, but no numbering. Next, let's talk about page numbering. If you'll notice in your document, by default, LaTeX puts the page numbers at the bottom of the page and centered. Let's say we wanted to change this to the right corner, right bottom corner of the page. There are a couple of commands that we need to add to be able to do this. First off, let's say we wanted to take the page number completely off of the title page. To do that, we just need to type backslash this page style empty right after the abstract. That'll make no page number appear on the title page. Now, to make the page number appear in the bottom right corner on the rest of the pages, there are several lines of text that we need to add to the preamble. And I've pasted it all here. It's from lines 6 to 10 on my document. You may want to pause the video and copy this down. The first command is use package fancy HDR, fancy header. And notice that I've got some text here saying loads the package after a percent sign. Technic Center turns this gray. That's because any text after the percent sign becomes a comment. So LaTeX doesn't read this as part of the code. This is helpful because it allows you to add notes to yourself or to co-authors or other people looking at the document. So I encourage you to use the percent sign to make comments throughout your document. Okay, so back to changing the page number location. We've got our fancy header package. Then we've got the command page style fancy. This tells LaTeX you're going to make some changes to the header or the footer. Then we've got the command fancy hf. This clears out any previous formatting that you might have in the header and the footer. Then we've got the command backslash r foot and in print or in curly braces backslash the page. This tells LaTeX to put the page number on the right side of the footer. And then finally, we need to add this command renew command head rule width zero point. I'm not going to go through the details of this for now, but basically what it does is it removes a line that appears in the header from making this change. 
So if you have all of this code right here, you'll be able to create page numbers in the bottom right corner. So here's the title page. Notice there's no page number. Here's our page of text, which we've got the page number in the bottom right corner. Now let's say you wanted no page number on the title page and then the first page of text to be numbered one rather than two. Easy way to do that is just under the renew command head rule width line, type set counter and then the word page in curly braces and then in another set of curly braces right after that, the number zero. This tells LaTeX to start the page counter at zero. <clears throat> so that will make the title page, page zero, and the first page of text, page one. So again, here's our title page with no number on it, and page one for our first page of text. Finally, let's talk a little bit about some special characters. In LaTeX, several characters have special meaning for programming purposes. So for example, the ampersand we'll see in a little while separates columns and tables. The dollar sign starts a math environment. As we've already seen, the percentage sign starts a comment and the backslash precedes nearly any active command that we use in LaTeX. But let's say you actually want to include one of those characters itself in your text. LaTeX needs a single signal that this is how you want to use the character. So a few common examples. Let's say you wanted to type the pound sign. The way you would do that is backslash and then the pound sign or the dollar sign would be backslash and the dollar sign. Ampersand would be backslash and ampersand. And to actually make a backslash, you want to type dollar sign backslash the word backslash and then another dollar sign. Additionally, let's say you wanted to use quotation marks in to, to wrap around text. Opening quotes look like this. You can make this character with the key directly next to the one, to the left of the one on your keyboard. And you want to do two of those. Then the text that you want and then the closing quotes are done by typing the key directly to the left of the enter key twice. And you can see from compiling that, first of all, here are the special characters, and here is the text with the quote. And one last thing I'll mention, anytime you want to start a new paragraph in LaTeX, just simply leave one space between the text. LaTeX will see that as a new paragraph and indent it automatically. So that's the first few commands for getting started with an article. In the next video, we'll continue on with some additional commands.